I guess the, so the main idea that we're interested in the lab is sort of how the brain stores information about past experiences, right? And how does it sort of keep that on hand so that it can uh, sort of, you know, the animals can steer their behavior the next time uh, they encounter the same thing. So we use uh, smell as our system for that. Um, so animals, especially mice, are really uh, friendly to, to the odor environment. So one of the things that we do are mostly about training animals to associate either something positive or negative with them with a specific smell, um, and then asking for what kind of changes um, those cause in the brain. So we use a fair, uh, a pretty wide range of audible tools to do that. So one is just sort of a basic uh, uh, CCD camera, which is a lot like what you have in your, your phone or your pocket. Um, so we have animals that have uh, genetically encoded reporters of neural activity, uh, calcium indicators. When the neurons are active, then they fire action potentials. The calcium inside the cells goes up, and this indicator makes the cells get brighter. So what that means is we can put our animal under the microscope here, pop a smell on their nose, and then we see the parts of the brain that are activated when they're smelling that smell. So then once we train an animal to associate this smell with something new, then we can say, okay, let's look at that pattern again, and ask how it's changed in the meantime. So the other things we're really interested in are uh, sort of social interactions between animals, um, so things like pheromones and uh, sort of chemicals that animals use to communicate their sort of gender, their reproductive status, their dominance, things like that. We're really interested in the, the neural pathways that carry that information to uh, sort of deeper structures in the brain um, that have really critical roles in cognitive behavior. Um, so we do really show you that system very well right now, but what we do there uh, is we inject uh, animals with uh, tracers that will label the neurons that are activated during a specific experience, like uh, fighting or mating, and then we ask where the sort of projections from that part of the brain go, and again, we're trying to uncover. Uh,